Battery operated outdoor power equipment is all the rage today, but I think there is a huge portion of people that are missing what is gonna soon come to their life and that's going to be battery replacement and there's a few more things that we're going to go over i'm going to go through the whole cost of ownership of not only electric outdoor power equipment or battery operated but i'll dive into a car at the end i have two electric cars a bunch of gas ones also thank god but i'm not having the greatest experience with those either so i'd like to just bring that in first why i'm doing this video i did a short form video on this ego battery and it went dead, then the whole battery went completely berserk. It's not happy. This is $300 to replace this single battery. That basically renders the lawnmower that I have completely useless. So I either have to invest $300 plus in a battery, or I have to go out and buy a new lawnmower, which raises the case of is it more logical to spend 450 on a new lawnmower ish maybe 500 even 600 or should i spend 300 plus on just the battery hoping that that lawnmower is going to stay running first the initial cost on getting into these units is incredibly expensive and the most of the parts that you're getting are all plastic you're getting a plastic deck which in some cases is really nice it doesn't rust but long term, it can crack, it can stress crack, it can do a lot of different things. It's not high quality wheels that you're getting on them, most of them anyway. Some of them have ball bearings, most of them don't. You have a drive unit on most that are self-propelled. Those things are erratic at best. And there's a lot of wiring in there that sometimes can get a little wet, damp, and not get happy. So there's been a lot of people that have had great experiences with them. Me, on the other hand, have had more failures than not, and I've used many, many of them. You can search our channel. I love them because in some cases, for the short term, they are awesome. I've even tried a battery-operated zero-turn lawnmower, which was a complete fail. So with that said, when we look at affordable stuff, if you're going to buy into battery-operated outdoor power equipment, this includes Toro, any brand that's out there, you're gonna spend an amazing amount of money to get into a low-end mower. It's not gonna have the power of a high-end gas mower, it's not gonna have the cut quality of a high-end gas mower, it's not gonna have the runtime of any gas mower that's out there, for the most part, and you're gonna spend a lot of money for it. Within five years, 90% chance says you're going to replace that battery. That battery is going to be crazy expensive and that's why I always tell people buy DeWalt, buy Milwaukee. Milwaukee's lawnmower is in crazy, it's crazy expensive. But at the same point, you can use those batteries that are in it for other tools. So at least you're getting some sort of use out of it and when you go to sell it, most other people out there will have that battery. When you try to sell an ego lawnmower and trust me on this go to facebook marketplace look it up look for an ego mower or a snowblower or any toro i don't care pick them out without a battery that unit is absolutely not worth a thing nothing and then you can even put a two-year-old model in there with a battery it is not worth things so i'm going to just jump into depreciation that is something that no one looks at when they're buying this when you're buying a battery operated lawnmower the depreciation on it and this is going to include a battery operated car the depreciation on that is more expensive than an internal combustion engine by a long shot then when you look at it in the gas savings amount you're not even coming close because of the large drop in depreciation. Now you're not gonna see this, you would see it on a more expensive zero turn because you may spend 4,500 on a, like a Greenworks zero turn and that unit is basically worth less than $1,000 after the first year. Simply because no one's gonna buy it, no warranty. God, the batteries in that are crazy expensive. Same with an Ego, you might buy that mower, use it for a year, or you may buy it, use it twice, not return it and say, I'm just gonna sell it. That is worth less than half of what you paid for it right off the bat, unless you find someone else who's really into these and willing to take that risk. It's just how it goes. Battery operated cars, man, that's sucking like big time. Two-year-old car right now is, in many cases, worth 50% of what you paid for it. And think about a battery-operated car in 
10 years. What's that worth when the battery pack's out of warranty? In the back, 17 year old Jeep. That would be absolutely worthless today because most likely that's gonna have to have had two battery packs, maybe more in it, and it's not gonna physically be the technology that can really be used well today. Think about the changes in battery packs in the last 17 years. 1964 tractor. This would be in the junkyard by a long shot by then, and that's going to be horrible for the environment. How can we build something today that we cannot say is going to sustain itself for, look at this guy. I mean, this is over 50 years. How can we build a battery operated tractor or semi truck or any of those things that we're gonna say, well, it's maybe got a 10 year life, maybe 20 max, when some of the stuff we're building now has a 50 year life plus. Yeah, I get it, right? We're talking about battery operated lawnmowers and blowers and string trimmers, and a lot of them don't last 20 years, but a lot of them do. 20 year old lawnmowers are not uncommon to find at a garage sale for 50 bucks. You're not going to find a 20 year old battery operated plastic motor there for 50 bucks. That's going to be five or I'll pay you to take it. Think about what's going to the landfills. How is that helping us? How about the recycling that is inside of this battery? All the minerals that are mined out of the earth to put in this battery. Where are these going? These are all toxic. They should never go to a landfill. They should be recycled in how do you know? that when you drop them off, they're actually getting recycled because it costs money to recycle this. I just read an article, uh, it's on Google. If you go to Google and on your phone and look and you search battery operated vehicles, they said by 2050, we will only be able to maybe make up 50% of the lithium content by mining that will be needed for battery operated vehicles. We will not be able to keep up the mining to keep up with the pace of the lithium needed. So battery operated vehicles are not sustainable using this type of cell or, the, and this is a lithium ion cell, this is a lithium iron phosphate cell, all of them use lithium. We're gonna have to switch battery technology in order to make it to that point in 2050. So as much as we want to push to continue to do this, we can look at our power grid and say, can that handle it? We can look at all different kinds of things, no matter what. And all of it, including our power grid, even solar, is going to take up some sort of resource and not be good for the environment. What are you going to do with all these solar panels once they're junk? Landfill. What do they have inside of them? There's a lot of bad crap that we're doing. And no matter what we do, this is kind of a, and I'm not going to get political on you, but this is, is just a ploy because this stuff doesn't save the environment. When we look at a battery operated car, you say simple Tesla Model 3, $40,000 car. Let's just go there. Two years old. And I don't own that car, but this is a great example of it. If you ran that car for... 30,000 miles in that case. And you say, okay, look, $100 worth of fuel gives me 500 uh, miles. So you're gonna put in, uh, what, 30,000, so that's uh, 60 tank fulls, $100, that's 600, 600 bucks in fuel. Fix my math in the bottom. But either way, depreciation of that car is going to be, right now, it's half. You can buy a two-year-old Tesla Model 3 for $20,000 used. No joke, they're out there all over the place and you can't easily get rid of an electric car at this point. I have a Ford Mach-E 2021. That is worth literally less than half of what it's worth new and I only have 16,000 miles in that car and I'd love to get out of it, trust me. That is just something that's not sustainable. What is that car gonna be worth in seven years when it only has one year left of battery warranty? Because right now, this battery is going to be crazy expensive to put a pack in because it takes 5,000 of these little guys to make that car run. I know it sounds like a rant, but I think that this is more of what people need to realize as to what's happening rather than saying, I'm saving the planet by driving an electric car. I never believed that because I knew that the mining of this is absolutely insane as far as what we're destroying. It takes big diesel equipment to do that. Diesel is not our enemy, by the way. 
Diesel is going to be great for a lot of things that we can use, but a lot of people think diesel is the worst thing ever. Well, we're using it to mine your lithium batteries. We're using it to get this for you. And according to many studies out there, it takes almost 100,000 miles for a electric car to start to become a win in the energy game. So as far as CO2 emissions, it takes 100,000 miles of that car being used to save up for the emissions generated for building that car. 70% more or so emissions created in the construction of a EV than a normal combustion car. So up until 100,000 miles, you're killing the environment. After 100,000 miles, you're okay. Not many electric cars are going plus 150 as far as 150,000 miles before they need a battery replacement. It's just not happening. That is Tesla's number. I'm seeing it all over the board. Yes, there are outliers. Yes, someone's gonna tell me they've had this Ego battery for six years and it's just going strong. Car batteries, meh, some. I'm seeing some die at 60,000. I'm seeing some die at 150. Most are dying right around the eight to nine year mark and when they do, it's super expensive. Who wants to buy that bill? With all that said, I am not saying battery operated equipment does not have its place. And unfortunately, it is very convenient for some. If others would just take care of their equipment, stop the ethanol in your small equipment, use rec fuel, learn a little bit about how the carburetors work and what you can do, maybe even just pour in some stable, you'd be way better off. But in this case, this is something I use. This is a Toro 60 volt snowblower. I do some snow plowing and I have very few sidewalks that I take care of. This works out awesome. I always make sure that I have two batteries in the truck at all point in time, because if I forget to charge one, I'm not stuck because I can't just go to the gas station and fill this guy up. It sucks because then you're shoveling by hand. But with that said, they last two years, that's it and they're done and then you have to buy another one but you can also find these very affordably on facebook because someone else bought them and decided they can't finish their whole driveway with it but they work for me so i'm trying to save it from the landfill or whatever else you can get it very affordably but with that said these things after two years are junk and that's two years of abuse in it just seems that they get water inside or whatever happens and they don't work real well. At least you know it before you go in and you decide what you're gonna spend on that two years and move on. But I still feel bad sending all this stuff to the landfill because there's not much here that people recycle. In some cases they do, but I think some of that, like our plastic bottles, that's another one. Research your water bottles and recycling plastic bottles. It costs so much to do that, that many, many companies who are not really ethically working well will buy a bunch of those plastic re uh, containers to supposedly recycle or get paid to, then they'll ship them to a third world company and dump them in the ocean. And that's no joke, that saves them money because they're so expensive to recycle that people don't wanna do it. And then we end up with a bunch of plastic in the ocean and we wonder where it came from. It sure as heck isn't the United States dumping it in there and here we go, along that whole line. Anyway, let's get back to the battery. Lesson one, battery technology needs to make a huge change in order for us to sustain what we are doing with battery operated tools, battery operated cars, and all the stuff that we're trying to push and move into battery operated semis. And I'm watching John Deere try to get into the battery operated tractor market, which I think is just a complete joke because if, anyway, I'm gonna leave that aside. The lithium iron phosphate batteries that we're seeing going into cars now last a lot longer, supposedly. But we'll see, these little cells are great for tools, but the long-term aspect of all this is, ask your dad, if he's older, how many drills he's owned in his lifetime. And that answer is going to be probably countable on one hand. And if you were to ask your grandfather, even mine who was a contractor, how many drills he's owned in his life, uh, that might be 
because he was a contractor counted on one, one and a half hands. But at the same point, I've got a lot of drills that are corded that are pretty beat up that really rock it out still from the 1970s. Most of you guys, if you're in your 30s or 40s, have probably already owned five to seven drills already. And that's just because technology is changing. And that's also how companies are selling you new items all the time. New technology, new battery platforms, more power, and all that stuff. So I'm sure there's a million comments below. Leave the hate, leave the love, figure out where it is. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't make the mistake of getting into some of this outdoor power equipment if you don't have the money for extra batteries. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.